In this video I'm going to show you how to use logo type of Photoshop Action. Okay, so I'm going to use this logo here as an example for demonstration. And this is the effect that I'm going to create. Okay, so you can see clearly what the action does. So it will create from your logo this typography effect. And as you can see, uh, there are a lot of uh, options for customizing these results. Okay, so you can choose from five different perspectives of your logo and uh, you can also change the any colors here or the background background text your logo uh, and so on. okay you can also you're controlling the lighting and the focus so let me just close this window now so when you open up your logo uh, the first thing uh, what is important is that your logo must be without a background okay so it will usually be some Adobe Illustrator format, PSD or PNG format, okay? But it's important that your logo is without a background, okay? Uh, so you should have this transparent background. And then just go to mode and make sure you got the RGB color mode 8-bit channel, okay? So as you can see, I got a different color mode here. So just select the RGB and it will be converted to RGB color mode. And also what you should check is the image size. Uh, for best results, you should use the logos that are in size like this, okay, uh, around this, you know, don't use the logos that have the uh, wider height uh, under the 10,000 pixels, okay, for best results. So I'm just going to click OK. And what you're going to do is go to image, camera size, and just uh, check this uh, relative option here, and just increase this to 1500s and click OK. Okay, so I got a more space uh, around my logo. And uh, what you need to do more is to just double click on your logo layer here and just type the logo. All letters must be lowercase. This is very important. Okay, and now just go to Window, Actions, and click on this little letter here, Load Actions, and you can just choose the action that can be downloaded. Okay. And here what you got, you got the logo type action, five perspectives actions, and lighting a focus. So I'm going to play this action here. And when you play the action, after a few steps, you get a message. Okay, so let's just click play. Okay, so we got a message here that says, now open the PSD file that came with the download called text, and drag the text layer from there to this document. Then modify the text as you like and click play again to stop to proceed okay so just click stop and go to file open and you can just open the text PSD file that came with download okay like this and then just taking uh, using a move tool click on the the text and just drag it into the this document like this so you should place it so it covers the the whole canvas even more there okay so you make sure when you choose some of the perspective actions you don't have text not covering the whole canvas. So uh, just take the type tool and when you click on the text, uh, what you can do, you can change the shape of these uh, it's of this uh, paragraph, okay? So I'm just gonna make it like this and I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the text and just copy and paste it over there so it will maybe take a while okay that's it so it covers whole canvas and what you can do now you can just pr press ctrl a for pc or command a for mac like this and here you can choose any font you can choose the uh, any font style okay you can change the size you can change the color you'll be able to change color later okay uh, also, you can go to Window and choose the paragraph here. And you choose the character, you're able to change uh, the spacing uh, between the uh, letters. Okay, you can also do able to change the line height. Okay, or, uh, whatever else you like. Okay, and I'm actually just going to use all default for now. Okay, and uh, just gonna click here. And I'm just going to go to right click here and convert the text to point text. I'm going to click OK. So, and now press the Control A for PC or Command A for a Mac just to center this text. And click here and here. OK. 
so if you wish to place your own text, you all have to do is to copy text and then just go here, select all these text by pressing co Control A or Command A and just paste it over there. Okay. So now all you need to do is to just play the action again. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to get back when the action is finished. Okay, to show you how can you customize the results. Okay, so the action has just stopped, so we get a message here that says the action has finished. After you finish with customizing, you can add perspective by playing some of the perspective actions or add focus and lighting by playing lighting and focus action. Okay, so just gonna click stop and uh, I'm going to close the actions panel for now. Okay, so now you got the uh, tip this is topography effect. Okay, so uh, let's just take a look over here. What you got is the background color. When you double click on this color box, you can change the color and just going to use something like this. Okay. Click OK. You can add the background lighting now. Uh, so you can just double click over here. You can change the type. You can change the angle. You can choose any, uh, really any kind of the lighting. You can just also click here and drag to move the lighting. If you like, you can change the opacity to control the, the brightness of the lighting. Okay, to control the lighting density and I'm not going to use this layer now, I'm going to add the lighting using this layer here. But you can of course use both these and this. Here we got the background text, so it got a color overlay layer and double click there. You can just click here and we can just change the text color and I'm just going to use some color that is a little bit darker than those of the background, something like this. Okay, just gonna click OK. And usually, when I uh, use this action, I'm actually placing the the smaller value for light height, so the text will be uh, more detailed. The log will be more, more detailed, actually. Okay, and uh, here we got the text layer. So this is the this text that we got a. Uh, your logo here, uh, so it is giving the color to, your, uh, to the, this text here. Okay, so when you double click here, this is a smart object, you can place another logo. Uh, uh, you can place uh, uh, when you just double click over here, click OK. Okay, so now you can place some other logo uh, instead of this one. Okay, just delete one and go to File and Save, and your logo will be automatically added here. And what you need then to do is to just change this layer mask. And how to do that? You just hold Control uh, button for PC or Command for a Mac, and just click here to make a selection of your new logo that will be placed uh, here. And then select this layer mask and go to right-click, delete layer mask, and then just reset the swatches by clicking over here and just click on the layer mask. Here. Uh, so and what we got here, we got uh, change the color layer and turn it on. It will change your logo color, and you can double click there, choose any color. And what you also got here is the randomized color. And when you double click there and just move the value of hue, it will randomize your current logo colors. And what you can also do, you can turn on both of these layers like this, and. And then you can randomize the colors. And what's the difference if when, you turn you, uh, when you turn this off? If you got some uh, white color, black, or the gray colors that will not be colored with this layer. Okay, so you just color the whole logo with this, and then just randomize those colors. I'm going to use the original one. Okay. Now what you have to do is to choose some of the perspectives. Okay, so all you have to do is to select and play. Okay, the action has just finished, and it will usually finish the very quick. Uh, so Close the actions panel now, and what you can do now is you can select uh, using a control or command button. Select these all these layers, move the text as you like with the move tool, and uh, you can still change the your logo with the smart object. And after you ch use the lighting and focus action, you will not be able to change the logo using a smart object. Uh, actually, we'll have to delete the sum of the layers, and then you will have to use this uh, 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 action again. Lighting and focus, okay. So now you can change it again, but you also have to replace the layer mask. So we're just going to use the lighting and focus. So just select it and click play. Okay, so here uh, you're choosing the lighting, and 
you can actually see uh, here choose for point spot and infinity lighting and let's choose the point lighting here now I'll just drag these over here you can just select these to get the scale text and then scale it like this okay and you can control the intensity here so let's increase it a little bit more like this just click OK and now you have to, uh, to make the focus so you can actually control uh, <coughs> the, the focus so what you can do here uh, everything uh, inside uh, this shape here uh, will be in the focus so it's got some uh, uh, feather uh, here ok so I'm just going to select it like this and you can just rot rotate the do this area ok you can also click here and drag to move it you can scale it ok and uh, here you you can choose the uh, the blur amount. Okay, it's uh, 30 pixels, so you can just play with that. And I'm going to use the default value and just click OK. Okay, so the action is just finished. So I will close the actions panel. And uh, now, if you wish to change, if you wish to use these gr uh, same settings for the colors, for the background text, and the uh, background color uh, or if you use those lightings and uh, if you just uh, in the same perspective you don't have to play these actions again you can just change the logo again using the smart object but if you uh, if you change the, the logo here you have to select this group and just delete the group both the group and contents and you have to play this action the lighting and focus again after you change the logo okay so we got this new group here and let's go here so what we got is the lighting and you get a focus and when you select the layer mask you can just pick a brush tool and brush with the black color on place where you wish to remove the blur to get more areas in the focus and you can brush with the white color to get the blur again so you can change the focus still a little bit on that way so you can turn the blur here if you uh, didn't choose but you can remove the blur okay uh, on those areas where you got a blur and you can get it back on that place okay using this layer mask and here we got the overall brightness we double click here we got these five courses to play with so you're just gonna uh, increase this a little bit like this maybe also this so I'm gonna increase the uh, highlights okay and maybe uh, uh, this one, uh, this uh, cursor here is the for the uh, mid tones, and you can also play with these two as well. Okay, so I had just a little bit of. Uh, change the brightness a little bit and here we got the contrast and when you click on the word opacity drag it aside you can change the contrast and it's very sensitive you can see the difference between the 1 and 100 so be careful with that just gonna use some small value like this and here is the overall saturation and double click there uh, we can actually change the, the saturation using this cursor here okay so with this cursor you can still randomize the colors and gonna increase it a little bit like this. Okay, and what you what you can do now is to make a new layer. Go to image, apply image, click OK, filter, and just choose the other high pass, set radius to two pixels, and change the blending mode to the soft light. Okay. So and uh, just the change the opacity here. So you can, uh, what this layer does, it will give some nice sharpening to your focus area change this to 100 you can see the difference and just lower it a little bit like this okay okay so i hope you uh, i hope you understood everything and if you still need any any help or you got any questions feel free to contact me anytime via my Mato profile page and thanks for watching